Skull Comics, number three, published by Last Gasp, 1971. This Halloween, the pretty girl next door wants to invite you in for a treat. Or a trick. Witch Tales. Okay, folks, today we are going to look at Skull Comics number three, published in 1971 by Last Gasp. And of course, we start off with this insane Spain cover. Oh, yes. Gotta love some Spain. Now, this is a pretty hardcore underground comic book. It is for adults only. If you're not an adult, please leave now. Okay? You have been warned. All right. Just a fantastic inside cover by Jackson here. Skull number three, 1971 by Irons, Sheridan, Gore. Spain, Jackson, and Veach. Published by Gary Arlington, Last Gasp, Funnies Production, Berkeley, California. It says, Felicitations Quasimodo, wherever you are. So here we have our host, the Old Skull. And he's hanging around with his family here. And let's see what he's got to say. Bet you didn't know the old skull was a family man, did you? Say hi to all the nice readers, Lucille. <laughs> Speaking of little fellas, did you ever get paranoid when people start talking about survival of the fittest? You know, like, fittest for what? Or even survival for what? Nasty, morbid little questions if you think about it. But let's don't. It's too freaky. Let's just sit back and soothe our soaring fancies with some cheerful tales of love triumphant. Oops, I gotta run now. It's the kids' feeding time. <laughs> and you have the little fish guy here with the sailor suit saying, Give me nickel, daddy. Ah, just beautiful. And it starts off with Sheridan's Tales of the Leather Nun. Yes, indeed. One of the most infamous underground comics, and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty much X-rated, folks. It's, I'm just warning you now. A, or at least a very hard R. Okay. A hard R. Just great stuff, man. Lovely pen and ink work. Lovely pen and ink work. And here we have Testicles, the tautologist. <laughs> Gray doing a little bit of a Conan take here, as you can see. And of course, here's, here's even a, he's doing a classic riff right here on Frazetta Conan. Great. And we come to some fantastic black and white Corbin with horrible Harvey's house. And of course, there's Gurgi. It's Gurgi, the host for some of these early Corbin undergrounds. And he says, Felicitations, phobia files. Ha! I bet you're surprised to see this mangy carcass again. Old Gurgi has a tender, touching tale of love this time. Have you ever been out in the woody wilderness, wandering and wandering and found an abandoned house. Well, this one may be run down, but it's not exactly empty. It's horrible Harvey's house. <laughs> nice, nice uh, Psycho kind of house there. He may have been just riffing totally on Psycho right here with this house. In any case, you have these uh, people, man and a woman, they drive out there and the guy's a photographer and he wants to take some lewd photos, you know, and she's kind of surprised at first, but then she's like, okay. And she gets butt naked and starts 
running through the field, if you will. And then she's like, hey, look at that. And he's doing, shooting some film there. Corbin in motion, no doubt about it, man. Great stuff. And of course, as they're doing the photo shoot, somebody's looking out. Somebody sees him down there. And uh, he's, you know, go, baby, go. And she's just jumping up and down and giving the photographer quite a show here, as you can see. And then suddenly lightning strikes. Krataka boom. It's raining. Hurry, get the stuff out of the porch. And of course, they're sitting on the porch. And they, of course, decide to go in. They must always go into the house. So they're inside the house. He goes to get the car. Meanwhile, she's looking around. And something's moving in there. So she runs off to join him at the car. And uh, so they go back into the house. And they're just, you know, riding out the storm here. And uh, they, of course, get to some boffing right here immediately. And then later they're sleeping. And this guy hears some weird noises. And he goes downstairs. And he gets promptly smacked on the head by a stick. Clop. And here comes horrible Harvey. <laughs> she's sleeping and then and Harvey mounts her. And she's like, mm. She's like, oh, Jarvis. And then she looks up and of course it's horrible Harvey. And he's like, she's like, yeah. And he's like, Harvey. And they pass out. She passes out, apparently. Wakes up and uh, he's like, was I drunk? Must have, must have felt. Crap, let's get out of here. So they drive off. They leave the place. And poor Harvey, he's left alone. And Gurgi's back. Poor old horrible. Not much of a love story for him, was it? Well, it's not over yet. Hello, let me speak to Zara. I got the film back. Eh, not there? Moved out. And here comes Zara running through the field. And there's horrible Harvey trying to run. He's kind of tripping over himself there and she, she's running. He's running and they meet and embrace and Gurgi at the end. Now wasn't that worth waiting for? Sigh. Bye. Gore 1971, folks. Now I think this is Jackson with Cleanup Crew and he's another artist, of course, like so many of the underground artists that doesn't pull any punches. Full-on gore nudity, whatever. He is all over that stuff. He just, he has a certain style that's really, like he always does the eyes like that. It's like these white eyes. It's really wonderfully sinister. I love his style. I just love his style. If you haven't figured it out yet, this guy's a bit of a cannibal. He goes into his storeroom and good evening my friends and he's got like corpses hanging hmm <laughs> oh, and then they, they proceed to have sex on the mound of corpses ah god that is sick isn't it I've forgotten how twisted this one was but it's it's that twisted, folks. But this was Irons and Veach. This was not Jackson. My mistake. Please forgive me. On the top it says, Skull Comics are tasteless garbage and diamonds in the night. <laughs> and the skull down here, Mr. old Mr. Skull down here is saying, I guess that proves you have to be careful where you perform your fertility rites. Of course, maybe those stiffs really dug it and wanted more. Or maybe they were just trying to make the second show at the drive-in. Any way you slice it, it's got to be the world's most heart-rending love story. Irons and Beach, 1971. And here we go with the back cover by Greg Irons. And I, they just, it, it's non-stop, isn't it? Tickle your ribs? And she's got a, literally like a dick-shaped bone. 
a giant dick-shaped bone, folks. Skull Comics flip you out of your skull. And there you go. That, folks, is Skull Comics number three from 1971, published by Last Gasp. I really hope you enjoyed this tasteless trip into underground depravity. Until next time, see you later.